I'm the talent, and she's got me trapped out here on the road, <laughs> oh my God. providing entertainment to everybody, and uh, she gets all the profit. <laughs> I'm having a hard time arguing that. But <laughs> Mission complete. Kind of. Kind of. We'll explain more later. Yeah. Well, we're done in Missouri. We've yep. been here for a month, and now we're headed back to Florida. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a little bit longer to get down there. Uh, it was supposed to be raining this morning. Luckily, it's not. Yeah. It missed us to the south. So the good news is we don't have to hook up the RV in the rain. The bad news is we're going to drive right through it. Yeah. <laughs> So it's going to be about a seven day trip. We're staying a couple days down to see Lauren mm -hmm. and uh, our daughter. And uh, it, all in all, it was a productive trip. It was. Yes. It was. Kinda. We'll explain more later. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. Scout has not traveled in a month. And uh, I'm going to venture to say he's not excited about traveling today either. <laughs> what do you think buddy? You wanna go in the car? You ready to travel? Alright. It's my excited face. Okay, see you later. <laughs> Revolting. Refusing. Don't want to travel today. Don't want to do it. Headed to Birmingham. Mm -hmm. Now if you remember our, on our way from Florida to Missouri, this park is the one we had the issues with. Hey, what you doing? Huh? What you doing? I'm doing the RV park's job. <laughs> the branches yeah. and the power pedestal that didn't work. But we know better now. <laughs> yeah. So when I go to check in, I'm going to say, look, make sure I get a spot that has a power pedestal that works. Make sure you're not... No lot low hanging branches yeah so we don't want to scratch up our, our rv yeah. so hopefully today will be better about a three hour trip today yep. not really much to see between uh here and there nope. we are going to drive through tupelo home of the king oh huh. <laughs> huh sounded just like him <laughs> <laughs> don't be jealous baby <laughs> oh lord it's been a long day <laughs> I'm like Elvis and she's like the colonel. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the movie? If you haven't seen the movie, you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, colonel is fat. You stand up fat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enough. saying, you know, I'm the talent and she's got me trapped out here on the road. <laughs> oh my God. Providing entertainment to everybody <laughs> and she gets all the profit. <laughs> I'm having a hard time arguing that. But <laughs> <laughs> trying to find something in my head, but I can't. Can't argue. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yes. Let's do it. We made it to Birmingham, mm -hmm. safe and sound. But we did have to stop like five minutes into the trip. Why did we have to stop five minutes into the trip? I don't like your tone. <laughs> <laughs> because I forgot to put the fridge lock in. And luckily, at least I remembered right away. That would have been bad because I-65 right up here, would all have, the contents of our refrigerator would have been all over the RV. It probably would have because that's a horrible road. Yeah, but luckily she remembered and got in here. Like literally, we were three minutes driving down the road yeah. and I was like, pull over. I didn't lock the fridge. But we do have another issue. We have another issue that I'm getting ready to address right now. <laughs> Hopefully it's something easy. Hopefully it's I nothing yeah, that's I'm sure crazy. It's probably. Maybe a loose. It's the one and only, so yeah, it's isolated right. to that tire. Something just probably loosened up the wheel or the bearing or the well, rotor. Well, after the roads we've something. been on going to Missouri and now coming back from Missouri. Well, I mean, it's not a shock. It's the same tires from two years from the day we bought it. So yeah, um, but the rest of the tires look like they're hardly worn at all. This one looks pretty worn. I may even have to, if I find the issue and get it fixed, I may even take the spare and put the spare on there because it's more closely worn like the other tires yeah. and just use this one as an as an emergency until we <clears throat> and then replace it. just replace that one tire yeah. spare and put up there so i don't know we'll see if i can figure out what's wrong with it hey would you like me to hold your nuts for you 
<laughs> but I run to the RV now and I'm gonna show you this tire. You can see where it's just all worn off. Uh, that, that groove is not nearly as thick and it's just, it's wearing that tire out. I took that wheel off and I didn't see anything wrong. Axle looked good. The uh, wheel was tight. Um, bearings all looked good. Mm -hmm. Brakes all looked good. And uh, Leslie was like, uh, what'd you say? Does it happen to the other tires too? Yeah. I, I said something about why wouldn't it be doing it to, to the other side too? And you said, no. But then when I looked, I said, you sure that one's not wearing yep. wrong too? Outside edges of every single tire. Now this, this one that we saw noticed first was the worst by a lot. Throughout the whole troubleshooting process of this tire wear issue along our travels, we were trying to rule everything out. And one of the things that we recently changed was adding the sumo springs to our RV. And so we decided, hey, we're going to take the springs off for one of the legs and see if that is the issue. Well, not only were the sumo springs not the issue, we had some significant bouncing around in the back because the sumo springs were not on and uh, it caused this to happen. When we came into the RV... Yours caused mine. I'll just say that. Don't put it on me, uh, man. Uh, yours caused mine. I was focused on yours, which we didn't know it was you at the time. Turns out it was you. But I was focused on that, which caused me to overlook something and cause mine. Just Still say. her fault. <laughs> Still her fault, 100%. Uh, so I'll start with mine. So mine uh, was... We came into the RV and there was water all over the floor. Mm -hmm. And I flushed. Yes. I flushed, <laughs> but I left my tumbler in the refrigerator full of water with the lid open, the little lid cracked open. And it bounced out and flipped upside down. And water. so there was water. It was clean water, but there was yeah. water. And so we had thought, because it rained most of the way here, we had thought maybe we had an issue, yeah, a seal. Like, where did water get in? I'm like, oh man, this is not good. I'm like, now we got to figure out where the leak's coming from. And so it turns out it was just my fault left my tumbler in the fridge and we have water all over the place now when we get to a location and we get into the rv because leslie is way littler than me it's her job to go way in the back and make sure that nothing's impeding with the slides and we've had issues in the past where we have a ladder over here we have a step stool over here and they make their way up and if you overlook that a slide will crunch it, it on the way out. which we've had happen before. So now Leslie goes back there every single time. I do. And checks it. And I do. without exception, she did this time also. Only because I was following the trail of water through the RV, which it did make it to the fireplace, whereas my issue is I was focused on water and where it was coming in. So let me show you what happened. We have a ladder here which is taken down on travel day. That's how Scout gets up here. And that's, there's where Scout is right there. Uh, we also have, because there's a gap between this storage and between the couch, we put a little piece of wood here to fill the gap. So he doesn't fall through the crack when he's walking through there. Well, and this is where I'm talking about that Leslie normally checks where the step stool comes out and doesn't get crunched. Well, this board had come jarred loose and was laying sideways, sideways like this. And so when she opened the slide, caught the corner you can see it on the board too. yeah it caught the corner down here so now you can see that that is that's loose this guy's loose it ripped that all loose so we're gonna take the uh staples out of there and then we're gonna tack that back down and it also it pushed that piece of wood right there so we punched a hole in the wall of the rv that's not bad but it did punch a little hole there oh well, we keep saying we're gonna stop messing up but we don't stop messing up. <laughs> I actually got pretty lucky last night. Yes, you did. <laughs> You're lucky we're in a decent area. <laughs> so yesterday, because the temperatures are low now and we're starting on lower yeah. tire pressure, I went to add some tire pressure to all the tires. And the truck has to be running for the compressor to do that. And so in order for the truck not to freak out, the key fob has to be in the truck. Yeah. So we did all that. I did we? all. I did all. <laughs> I did all that. 
And then I don't know what happened. Either a phone call or a, I don't know, something distracted me. But um, mm -hmm. I put all the, the compressor stuff away. Yes. And then we came in. And I, I, somehow I turned the, I turned the truck off. You did turn the truck off. But I didn't grab the keys. No. Nor did I lock the truck. <laughs> because you didn't have the keys. Exactly. So <laughs> last night, all night long, the truck was unlocked, but the keys in the seat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just asking to be taken. Yes, yeah, so I didn't purposely leave the keys in the truck, but had it gotten stolen, that would have been bad. We'd have been able to track it. That's right. We could track it. We have the wear safe in the <laughs> truck right now and not the RV. So we'd have at least been able to see where it went to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm hoping today that we have no issues. Me too. And we make no mistakes. Yes. We just got to get back in our groove, man. We're out of the groove big time. We have, we've had a lot of stress and haven't moved around much. And so it's like starting over again almost. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> we'll let you know if we do more stupid stuff. Yeah, of course. Well, we made it to Fort Benning, Uchi Creek. We've been to this campground a lot. And uh, we thought we were out running the cold, but we didn't run fast enough. It's 28 degrees down here. And it looks like it's cold everywhere in the country, except for like the tip of Florida and over on the West Coast. And so, uh, we were supposed to leave today, but we're not. We, uh, our daughter has a uh, medical procedure. She's gonna have to go under anesthesia. All her friends and other family that are in this area either had to work or go to school. So it's gonna prevent us from splitting the, the travel from here to Trenton, Florida in half. We are gonna have to do that whole trip tomorrow in one shot, which is a little over five hours. But the good news is, we are, uh, we're gonna be able to do our next veteran donation while we're there, so that's really cool. Um, you've probably already seen it because it's gonna post before this video, so let us know what you think. And if you haven't seen it, we'll leave a link down in the description to go back and watch that because yeah, we gave away $3,000 to a veteran organization and it's all because of you, so thank you for that very much. By the way, Scout is not digging the cold. <laughs> he hasn't come out of his cage in like two days. He's just hanging out under the heat lamp. I'll let you see what he's up to. <laughs> hey buddy <laughs> like get away so we have something else to share with you we'll share it with you when we get there oh boy some 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 news we're gonna talk about it we're gonna talk about oh, it jesus <laughs> <laughs> made it to florida finally finally <laughs> and we've been avoiding the subject yeah so we really didn't want to talk about it but still don't no <laughs> we but, we're, will. but we're going to anyway and yeah. the reason we're going to is because a lot of you have been asking us how things are going mm -hmm. and so just to let you know and so we don't keep getting a bunch of emails and and messages repeating ourselves and repeating we'll ourselves just say it all at once um the whole reason for this trip was to move my mother from florida to missouri yes after my stepfather passed away because that's where all the family is mm -hmm. so she decided that's where she needed to be and, and so we did that we did that uh, we were with her for a few months before my stepfather passed after he passed helped with all the arrangements everything got yep. her set up moved all the whole deal so all said and done about five months total yeah and uh before we left missouri to come back to florida she told us that uh she made a mistake she doesn't want to stay in missouri yeah she wants to come back to florida two days before we left so i'm not going to say much about it no um i'm we, just not going to say much about it <laughs> we were stunned yeah perplexed saddened yeah and i i really used <laughs> you I, name it to be completely honest i just don't want to put my mom's business out on, on the channel no. And so really that's that's the only thing we're we're willing to, to say. Okay. Okay. 
<laughs> we said it. It's so awkward. <laughs> it is awkward, but thank you all for all the support, all the yes. messages, all the concerns, asking it's how she's so doing, how everything's everybody. doing, yeah. how we're doing in this whole process. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate that. Yeah. But um, we made it back to Florida. We're and, back. And we're back on track, man. We're going to start traveling again. God, yes. Start adventuring God, again. Yes. All the cool fun stuff starting stuff. right now because yes. we are at the location where we're going to be doing our next veteran donation. Yeah, starting our freedom off with a bang. <laughs> we're going to give away money. Yeah, so we appreciate you watching this video yeah. and we appreciate you watching that video where we donate that, that money to the veteran organization mm -hmm. also. And stick around for a few more seconds because we're going to honor a fallen service member. If you want to get involved with helping us help vets out on the road like we're getting ready to do, yep. everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.